for thousands of years, man kept looking for ways to understand and to be understood. As our technology progresses, our ways of communicating also levels up. What makes it easier? It's because of the multimodal techs. Whenever we communicate, we use several processes. You can either read, write, listen, view or watch, and speak. So these are the things that we can use in communications. And these processes are called modes. Whenever we combine these modes to create a meaning, we create also multimodal text. A multimodal text is a combination of two or more modes to create meaning. A mode of multimodal text can be in the form of the following. It can be in a spoken language whenever we discuss or converse. It can also be in a written language whenever we write. Or it can be a pattern of meaning just like this one at my back. Basically, we are surrounded by multimodal text. Oftentimes, we're not curious about it. The first type of multimodal is what we call linguistic, or the vocabulary, grammar structure of oral and written language. Next is we have the visual with a vector, colors, and viewpoint of still and moving objects. Or it can be the audio, which is the pitch, the volume, and the rhythm of the music that we listen. Next, can be gestures, or the movement, facial expression, and the body language. Last but not the least, it can be spatial or the proximity, direction, position of layout, organization of objects, and space. To understand the practical application of multimodals, let us compare these two speeches from two former Philippine presidents. Well, we just have to begin now with honesty, with thrift, with efficiency. Tama na ang pagpapasasa, tama na ang nakawan, tama na ang aksaya, tama na ang mga palabas. Kailangan magbanat tayo ng mga buto at tunay na servisyo ang siyang dapat nating maging balangkas para sa ating mga solusyon. Ngayon taon, mula sa inaasahang siyam na put tatlong bilyong piso, pababa sa anim na put anim na pung bilyong piso lamang, kailangan magsagawa ng mga kakulangan, pagbabago at pagtitipid ang pamalaan upang lalo pang palitin ang inaasahang nito sa apat na pung bilyong piso lamang. At hindi po buenas lang ang nangyari pang angat ng ating rice productivity. Bunga po ito ng may tanong pamamalakad ng paggamit ng may inam na klase ng bini at masusi at epektibong paggastos para sa irigasyon. Nito nga pong nakaraang taon, labing isang libo, anim na raan at labing isang bagong ektarya ng bukirin ang napatubigan natin. Dagdag pa yan sa halos dalawang daan at labing dalawang libong ektarya na nakumpuni o nabigyan muli ng irigasyon matapos ang panahon ng pagkakatiwangwang. Isinasabuhay ito ng Oplan Lambat Sibat na sinimulang ipatupad sa Metro Manila. Pinagalanan natin ang modus ng mga kriminal at strategikong dineploy ang ating kapulisan. Kaya nga po, nauhuli ang mga big fish na nagmamando sa mga gang na bubuwag ang mga sindikato at buwababa ang krimen sa bansa. 
sa loob ng ating termino, halos isang daan, anun na po tatlong libong na wanted ang nahuli ng PNP. Higit isang libo na gang naman po ang na-neutralize at 29,294 na baril na walang lisensya ang nakumpis ka sa buong bansa. Which speech do you think is easier to understand? Let's compare. The first speech is by President Estrada where he used linguistic or spoken language and the audio of his voice. Then Aquino uses linguistic and audio also. But he uses special as the graphics. And that alone can make communication effectively. With multimodal text, we know that in a traffic light, red means stop and greens go. With multimodal text, we can determine the message and the mood of a song through the rhythm, volume, pitch, and the lyrics. And lastly, with multimodal text, we can determine the message effectively just by reading the body language and facial expression. And that's what multimodal text is all about. So I hope you stick around and take note of your activity for this lesson. I'll see you on my next video lesson. Stay safe.